SMA is a rare degenerative muscle disease. Patients are missing the nerve cells in the spine that tells muscles to move. Until now, doctors could only treat symptoms, but Marty Salt reports on a recently approved drug and a new delivery system that are giving people hope. Sean Stewart was diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy when he was three. I was walking until the age of 13. I had a, I broke my leg at that age. Um, after that, I was no, no longer able to walk. He lost function in his arms, legs, and back. I probably need to get a new one, maybe. Just breathing became difficult. For more than 45 years, doctors only treated his symptoms. Then in 2016, the FDA approved Spinraza, a drug that increases production of the SMN protein needed for muscle control. I've had patients that had no arm function and can now move their arms. I have had patients that were ventilated, couldn't breathe on their own, they can now breathe. The problem was that many SMA patients like Sean have had spinal fusion. Giving the drug through a spinal tap three times a year was painful and potentially dangerous. So Dr. Muhonen came up with this. There's a port that allows me to inject the spinraza and there's a tube that has 20 holes on the tip of it. This tube will go into the spinal fluid. So the port looks really good. I don't see any signs of infection. It's nice and clean. It makes the injection so easy. It takes about five or 10 minutes to get the injections, and I'm able to do that sitting up in my wheelchair. Sean says in a year and a half on Spinraza, his breathing and speech have improved. And since Dr. Muhonen's port simplifies drug delivery, he has high hopes for the future. For News 8, I'm Marty Salt with today's medical breakthroughs.